So I'm going to say here that I haven't played Stanley Parable before because I'm like 85% sure that I haven't and I can't remember if I have. So I'm going to say no, I have not. Please adjust the slider to the computer, it's barely visible. I think that's fine to be honest. I can't, I can't decide if I'm hot or cold, it's one of those moments. Please enter the current time. Oh, you want to know the actual time? This is cool, okay. It is 50, 8.50, okay. Is that, it? yeah, 8.50, confirm. Accessibility settings can be accessed on the main menu. Okay, that's fine. Woo! It's a screen, 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 it's a screen. Okay. Begin the game. I've already put subtitles on. We should be good. Let's just play. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Relatable. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul lifting, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Really? Was he really though? And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, That's weird. call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move <laughs> for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay. Um, by the way, let me know if anything needs changing with the audio. Um, if I'm too loud, if the game's too loud. Anything like that. What does this say? What does this mug say? Ooh, Partition Corp. I hate Mondays. Yeah, mate. I walk super fast. Like, what the hell? Why am I walking so fast? I don't know why it's making keyboard sounds even when I'm looking over here and clicking. <laughs> keyboard sounds, yes, I'm on my keyboard. I have very long arms, did you not know? Ah, uh, okay, anyway. But if I, act if I actually look at the keyboard, the sounds don't happen when I click. That's weird. Uh, anyway. We're going out of here. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Meeting room? Where is it? Where? where no where matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Does someone just sit here to sharpen pencils? Is that their whole job? It looks like that's their whole job. They just, they are the pencil sharpener. Okay. I mean, if they get, who farms it? <laughs> if they get paid good money for that job, then, you know, good for them. Oh, hello. I just clicked on the computer and it turned off. Number one dad, cutie. The drawers looked like a face. Probably. Can I open you? Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, <laughs> I did. but it didn't make a single difference. <laughs> nor did it advance the story in any way. I'm still making keyboard noises though. 
Where's the meeting room then? Coffee, all the coffee. I was thinking that about the time, Rick's alive, but maybe they use it for something else instead of it actually being input into the game, which would have been quite cool, but we'll see. It must, it must be relevant. Maybe they're gonna berate us for how long we sp <laughs> we've spent playing the game. Okay, fine. Why am I turning everyone's PCs off? It's kind of rude, Stanley. What's this? How the mighty have fallen. Okay, what does that say? I did the impact of the work and the art of Lola Chumberland? Something? Where's the meeting room? Where did I come from? Where did I go? Come on, Nigel! <laughs> Hello? Is that, that's a meeting room. Can I go in here? I'm getting lost. This place is a bloody maze. Can I open this door? But I need to get in the meeting room. Sales in this quarter. This does not make sense. I was just going down and down, down. Projections. No, <laughs> it's an angry person. When Stanley came to a set oh. of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I remember seeing this from the past. From the past. Let's go right in it. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly Oops. well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yeah. Where's the employee lounge? I'm still making keyboard noises. How am I making keyboard noises like all the time? Even here, there's no keyboard in sight. What the hell? Ah, oh. Yes, truly a room worth admiring. Can we open it had really blinds? been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. I want to call Stanley you. simply stood here, drinking it all in. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, 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 nom. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. No, I want really the coffee. Worth it. I want coffee. Coffee is always worth it. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy <laughs> and reflected poorly on his overall <laughs> so personality. Stupid. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Wait, is this a drinking game? No, this is a keyboard game. Where everything is keyboard tapped. But at last, he'd had enough of the amazing room. It is very took nice. The first open door on his left to get back to business. But wait, can we see ourselves? Oh, wait, no. What? Stanley this? was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. I'm sorry, let me go back. I just, I thought they were mirrors for some reason. I'm stupid. It looks too enticing to like not go in here. Do not lie. If you are lying right now, stop. I don't think I'm lying. Am I short? I'm really short. This is like me. Me shortness. <laughs> this is how I see tables. Whoa. Whoa, the reverb on the fucking keyboard noises. I got an achievement. You can't jump. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it's in motion. You get a penalty for trying to jump. So I can't go here. I like all these mugs just absolutely everywhere. 
everyone's obsession with coffee in the workplace. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. Should we jump? Oh, I want to jump so really bad, but we're not going to. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. What? There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please don't say Please. it's a dog. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Her? This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. Okay, fine. She's been waiting. Who is she? That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. Oh. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Can we pull the cord? As Stanley picked <gasps> up I the did! phone, oh, a no! white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, I didn't pick but up the hope. phone! Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? Yeah! No, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you I do think that? I could. You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. I'm Let sorry. me double check. Can I put it back in? No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Oh Stanley my God. picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. I don't Music want comes to be in, pledged. Fade to white, roll credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, what? that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I'm not I was Stanley. So this is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. It's if you made minutes, any more dude. wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. No, did I you didn't not grasp jump. the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. I didn't Please jump. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Oh. Choice. <laughs> it's the best part of being a real person. Oh my God. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Rupert has a choice. He could invent a machine that eliminates food shortages across the world to make life better for all people. Or he could spend years of hard work forgetting how to read. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. <laughs> Allow the person to finish what? their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, my goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. A <laughs> back sack and crack. Oh, my goodness, Excellent. it's 4.30. Making it's choices a on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, Hand just remember the that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant yeah, and the true. feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. Yeah, but not what's to up worry. these textures? Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going <laughs> so to revisit cool. a choice you made just a few minutes ago okay. and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Okay.
Hello? Do we start again? What do I do now? I guess I go back over here. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. I feel like I should have like actually done the main narrative first and then <laughs> But I can't help it! I love to not do what I'm told in games because I find it difficult to do that in real life. <laughs> okay, well, where are we going now, dude? Ooh, pretty picture. What's the time? Okay. Oh yeah, this room. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free oh, in God. the real world. For fuel. For some reason I thought it said fuego. Which I know means something. I don't know what it means. Does it mean fun? Fuego. I don't know. Anyone speak Spanish in the chat? Fuego. What does that mean? Happy trees. Ooh, there's a little handwritten note here. What does it say? What is it about this place? Oh, I wish I could pick things up. The weeks I've spent here, they feel like mere seconds. Uh, seconds? By extension. And so short they might as well not end. It is the nature of this room, its essence. It calls to me. Something of my soul. She in me so drawn for something I've never, no, never tried to. This is difficult to read. If anyone can read this better than me, let me know. I wet for out it stay this to share this feeling with after but where said I kept <laughs> oh my god a feeling and uh, I a knowing truth with a capital T would I say the lounge has something to me yes but in a cryptic tongue spoken to me the lounge has spoken to this person yes but in a cryptic tongue um, created specifically for the very communication sound in its purpose then disc something as soon as its need never to be spoken again a single moment of clarity, of connection between man and woman. I think that's what it said. Man and room is what it says. Then, all I can see is shit forever, but that can't be what it says. Then shit forever, then shut forever. A meaning, or perhaps not a memory, but an insight into the past, the past that never happened. And also, I'm hungry. What the fuck? What is that letter? It's so weird. I love it. Okay, let's go back. Frego is fire. <laughs> okay, it's not definitely not fun. Thank you. <laughs> oh, look, the door is open. It's a meeting room. Can we go in here? The computer's on. I must turn it off. It's my sole purpose in this game. Woohoo! 
Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. Okay. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. Okay. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. I all am right. Stanley. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I kind of want to go right again, but I'm just going to go left. I'm going to go left. We're going to be good. We're going to be good Stanleys, okay? I'm a good Stanley. I'm a good Stanley going to the left. I'm a good Stanley. I'm a good Stanley. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Do not alter without consulting whiteboard manager. Weekly targets admin, marketing Mondays, termination Tuesdays, IT department, we're broke Wednesday, <laughs> financial panic meeting, mergers. So obviously the, the company he's working for is like not in a very good way, which isn't good. Um, bosses inspection, legal. It's just group stuff here, which don't know what that means. Office party? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Rip friends. Meeting room. Okay, cool. What's this? Tomorrow. Complete today's unfinished agenda items. Write next day's agenda. What's that sound? Oh. The boss appreciation minute. Eh. Um, employee. Does it stop when I look at it? The future was yesterday, tomorrow is now. No, it's not. Targets, well, well, I guess actually you can shape tomorrow by your actions of today, so maybe. Targets, push for funding for R&D of new coffee machine. Woohoo! new coffee machine. Get Chris out of the broom closet. Was he like stuck there or something? What was wrong with Chris here? Um, Ongoing. Ongoing? Get Chris out of the broom closet. I really hope we go to a broom closet and we see like some remnant of Chris. Um, hire someone to synergize papers. Papers are too synergized. <laughs> fire paper guy. Hire someone to fire the paper synergizing guy. Who moved my desk? P keep, please, please keep the targets on the top of blah, 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 blah. Okay. Number of slides in this slide. Slides. Charts. Charts and slides. Very cool. Meeting. Love meetings. Don't we all love meetings? Oi. 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 I'm stuck. Okay. Good. What does this piece of paper say? TPS report. Oh, boring stuff. By quarterly post review review. We need... Less reviews. <laughs> this is just like where it's like, we need a meeting. Discuss how many meetings we're having because we have too many meetings and everyone hates the meetings. Let's do a meeting about it. Ah, oh, love it. 402 and 405 want to get rid of the death sports portion in the primary review schedule. Excuse me? But I think that's a stupid idea. More water coolers, more water cooler heaters. <laughs> Charts need to be more hip to appeal to teenage demographic. Find teenagers to put in teenage demographic. Big net? Some sort of child trap? This is stupid. Teenagers, size demographic, space between the teenagers, a lot of percentage. Throw something in ideas bin. No more bins, trash cans. Renaming of the ideas bin, fixing of me ideas bin this is great what <laughs> hello zombo skeleton hugging a broom cute i don't know if that was supposed to be an emote or not but i just see the text and it sounds cute and hello at small c4t he might have taken a dump while in the closet i don't recommend you check out the closet now I need to, to check out the closet just to see. Not that I like I'm into that, like I want to see that or anything, but I, I just want to see it. I, I do want to see it. I want to see. It. 
So to do synergize core value expenditures, blah blah blah. Monetize free to play. Are we in a, a game studio? Help, I'm a post-it. I see charts. <laughs> this is so stupid. Um, what do people want? Things. What did that say? What did that say? Happy feelings. Violet James, you are fired. Aw. <laughs> money. More money. Things, but with money to buy more things. Graphs. Graphs about things and money. We have our new product. Oh, my God. This is awful. This is, this is not a game studio. This is awful. The stock market is somewhere here. Coloured in segments, stripes. Requires more secondary research. Tyrectric demographic, teenagers. What is hot? Profit, profits, profits. Profit and profits. <laughs> it's felt like lost profits or something. Um, yes, number of slides on the slide. Mm, we've seen that one before. You want to change? to the next slide. This seems very informative. Rate at which charts on the same slide depict the same... Well, I'm done. Oh my god, it's a broom closet! Chris! Chris! It's okay, don't worry, we know you pooped. We don't care! Oh, Chris! Fine. Chris! I really want to go in. It's not fair. <sighs> Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Lost profits is a no-no word. Oh, is that because of what's his face? What's he called? Is it got the strange guy in who started like a weird cult and stuff? and attempted to play the Joker. Nice pillow, like the pillow. I love these walls, love this wallpaper, wow. Very nice, very nice. Where did I come from down there? Oh, here, obviously. That's Jared Leto. Yes! What was his band? Oh no, that was 30 seconds. Stepping oh, inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Ooh. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Night Stanley Shark had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. Oh my gosh. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Not yet. I'm looking at the poor panda. What? These are awful pictures. Why would you want to have a look at this? <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. So I'm looking shark at pictures. One one five. Okay. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. And also, I am the most expensive boss with a big red tie. I'm it's sorry. Is there what? a problem? I'm you didn't mishear me, did you? <laughs> Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. How do I speak? Okay, fine. You're not going to do it. But you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far. Only for Shut. you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. What? What's if the password? If you didn't to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you I wanted over there. I did go through there. the door on the why right. Why did you come this way? Speak. You made me Say something back. to me. Explain yourself, you coward. You... 
behave exactly as Stanley would. What the fuck? That means choosing responsibly. I didn't know what to do. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Should we go left or right? Should we try and finish the main story? Or should we go right and jump off the thing? <laughs> I'll let you decide here, because I've I've done both things. I I did click on the thing. Maybe by that point it was too late for me to click on the thing. Or well, maybe it actually listens to me through the microphone. But I, surely it would have given me a heads up that it was using my mic. Okay. I'm going right. You want to see me jump? No. Why did you do that? No. Quickly, <laughs> hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Oh, wow. Okay. It's still broken from before. No. <laughs> it's still extremely broken. Jeez. Okay. Sorry, game. I didn't realize I'd broken you this badly. Okay, I'll come back. I have to go this way. Sorry, everyone. Go up. <laughs> Is that possible? I can't even jump in this game. Give it a little tickle. Oh, oh it's ruined. Uh -oh. You, I can't believe after everything we talked about that you... My story, you've I destroyed tried. my work. You didn't give me enough Why? time. For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think <laughs> was so special him? about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. Okay. Oh, up. I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With what? you. You. Who thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine and you've run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. Oh. Oh, thank you. My story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. I did. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard to make. Oops. Ad starts in two minutes, by the way. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oh my god. Hello. Stanley? Stanley? Hello? Hello? Are you, am are you I? Okay? Am I the narrator? Stan, please. I, Stanley. I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. Well, I got a weird ass ending. The story needs <laughs> you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist. I did go up! Yes, yeah, Flash guys, I went up. It's just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Anything. Aww. We broke Stanley. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Uh, okay. Oh, he said sound so sad. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That oh, sorry. That is the best choice. 
that's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. Hmm, which door should I take? The one on the left? Oh. Okay, we start again. Okay, start again. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna actually try and do this like properly this time and then we can muck around the time after that. But I'm gonna turn off the computers because I feel like that's my job. Do 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 I'm giving this computer an input. Do 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 I can't turn this off now. Okay, whatever. That one can stay on. I feel like I want to go here because the door's open. Oh, no, no, two. When Stanley came to a set of two open get doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here it's either. Not getting fired. Feeling Hopeless. a wave of disbelief, Do unbelievably Stanley amazing decided work all to go the time, up to his boss's day. office, no hoping he might find an answer there. How to solve a dispute? Let it ball up inside you, take it out passively, aggressively, resent co-workers for not supporting you more. Don't do any of these things. Make sure your slide has a slick blue graphic on the header and throw some bevel on all the text. Very nice. Very nice. Everyone is unique. You most of all. Woo! Nice. Okay. Let's carry on. Chris! Oh my fucking god! Somehow we got to open the broom closet! Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Why is there... there was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. Why is there no reason this? To still was be Chris here. living here? What was he doing with this big pipe? Happy bear? It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. I want to find He Chris. wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. Sweet F.A. Sweet back home. So why was Chris stuck in there? Are you, are you really still in the broom closet? Yes, I'm standing trying to find nothing? the mystery of Chris. Why? Please offer me some explanation <laughs> here. I'm, I'm genuinely confused. There's no poops in here. I was lied to. I was promised to poops. There's nothing in here. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If really? I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. Yeah, well, I've It didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story. That's not true. Whatsoever. Environmental storytelling I never would have thought told to me it. otherwise. Maybe to you, this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom <laughs> closet ending was my favorite. This is so stupid. I hope your friends find this concerning. Did you get the broom closet? Stanley was closet. fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job Me? because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Rude! Excuse me, sir. Please mind your temper. No, well, I'm I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Yes. Well, in a situation like this, 
The responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby, <laughs> the person at this computer is so dead. So stupid. They have fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making <laughs> sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. That must be the last VO here. But that was, that was funny. Just for like some broom closet voiceover stuff. I love that. That was great. Seriously, I wonder if anything is in this closet. Nah. I think what was in this closet was all of those voiceover prompts. I wonder if that was something new. Okay, fine. We'll step ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. Ah, good I to be here. You can't do any worse than the person who came before you. <laughs> yeah. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Ooh, did we do this before? I can't remember doing this. Why is the step? Why is it down red down here? All right. No, we're doing this properly. Apart from the broom, the broom closet. Okay, we're up here. Bathroom. I need to pee. Oh, I've got the feeling money's for stealing, but not yours, of course. Say, so that's a lovely purse. What the fuck? That was weird. Can I pee? I want to go poop. Extreme bathrooms. Time. Time to go to time! Uh, okay. That was a lovely bathroom. Why was it here? Nothing happened. Like, there was no be Can I poop? Can I poop? It's got a weird text on the wall. Whoa. That looks like a lovely room. Stepping into his manager's office, Whoa. Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible yeah. truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Mm -hmm. 2845. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Oh. So I don't do anything? Oh, there's some nice little pictures here. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. So I do do it? Do I do it or do I not do it? What do I do do? 2845. 2845. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley's Stanley happened genius? to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. Whoa. He stepped into the newly opened oh. passageway. Hello. Very ominous. Very dark. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself. 
to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Escape. Ooh. Oh no, which one do we do? Go into here or go escape? I guess we go in here. Hello? Big red button. Well, it's not even red. I don't know why I put that. Big light bulb button. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I don't think he has a choice. He has to. Security cameras. Okay. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true Fire. nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This would be a bit unnerving to know that your boss is like just looking at your desk. Although there's a lot this of TV mind screens control here. control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's Pirate. control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad, or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. I go up these stairs? I can hardly see. Oh no. They're blocked off. Never mind. We'll just go over here. When at last he found the source of the Why room's power, so he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Ooh, I could turn it on though. That would be interesting. Ooh, should we go with the story and turn it off or should we turn it on? What do you think? I'll let, I'll let you decide. Let's see what you want to do. Part of me is like, we're, we've come this far. We might as well just carry on with the actual story. But then also part of me is like, yeah, but what's on? 
My lights be flashing, I don't know why. What happens if you turn on? Okay, looks like everyone was on, so we'll try it on. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After yeah. they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go. Turn the controls off Oopsies. and leave. Oopsies. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode. Oh, crap! How long until detonation... <laughs> Thank you for following, Cine Gamers. Let's say, um, two minutes. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, now, this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. Great. It's your story now. Stanley Shape can't it to your even run. This is not fair. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. Oh, but fuck what off precious shit. moments each one of them is. <laughs> more time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. What all this means, I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated? Okay, so I think all I have right, to press all the buttons. Mood. Jesus you're Christ. Anyway. Come on, I'll come on, come on! Exactly what happened to them. Run, Stanley! I Go turned faster, off the machine, you little shite. You free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate oh to my see gosh. it go. Where's, where's the other but button? I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 oh, seconds shit. left. What do but I do? I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time Fuck doesn't me. grow on Where? trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're what supposed to, to be do. doing right now? Three? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer Where's, that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Three. Running from button Where to be number button, three? screen to screen, One, clicking two. on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, two. anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any One. idea what your purpose in this Apple. place is? <laughs> I'm so confused, Paul. Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. <laughs> to see yeah, you made okay. humble. This is not a challenge, it's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. Oh, that's 30 no. seconds you have left. I know, I don't know what I'm 30 doing. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another it's choice. Like employee Make it two, four, two, seven. It's all the same to me, all a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life wow. from the moment we fade in until the moment I say hide under here. Happily ever up. Ah! Why did that make me jump? <laughs> it just happened. Oh my god. Okay. We should not have done on. We should have done off. <laughs> I actually thought I could save myself in there, but maybe I couldn't. 
All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed right. a memo. I'm actually going to do it fully, properly, all the way through this time, okay? Because I didn't do it last time. And I'm going to kick myself. When I have Stanley to it came to a set of two once. open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. I'm doing a thing if there's a thing, thing, thing. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Not again! I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. I love that. Please take your time. Oh my god, it's amazing. Does he actually say anything else? <laughs> I'm gonna run a quick ad break, so if you're not subscribed, I will see you back here in two minutes, 30 seconds. No, I don't know, that's my elevator music noise. Um, but I don't think he is gonna say anything. What's the worst that can happen? This game looks crazy, are you enjoying it? Hell yeah, I'm enjoying it. It came out Coming so long ago, and then I just saw it trending on Twitter today, and I was like, his boss's I think I wanna play it. Oh yeah, upstairs. Upstairs, we're going upstairs. I'm sorry everyone. I know you probably want me to do the opposite things, but I really do want to do it properly for once. But I also want to go into the toilet. Hello, anything to do in here now? Money in the morning, money in the evening, money for breakfast, money crisp. <laughs> nice, I love it. That's cute, I like it. I just, oh yeah, this game is a breath of fresh air. It's, it's nice, it's nice to watch. Excuse me. This is different. Oh, yes, don't get don't get distracted. You're supposed to be following it through. Okay, I will follow it through. Stepping so into options. his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. He began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk. Pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret terrible that lay buried secret. below his feet. Ooh. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. Okay. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, no. Nope. I'm like, what if I don't? No, no, no. And down. And we're gonna turn it off this time. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Now, security camera. Jump to life. There was They're one that said pirate review. up there. Each bore pirate. the number of an employee in the building. Up the top. Stanley's co workers. Why is the lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen. And Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom pirate. meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Oh, was this the only reason cool he was happy with his one. boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, 
He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or oh, content. Is that what they are? Walking, eating, working, all of it emotion monitored and commanded controls. from this very place. Mm. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls oh, yes. once okay. and for all. We're gonna do it properly this time. We're gonna turn it off, okay? Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments Go away. Stanley. Go Stanley. And yet, Go Stanley. even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Oh, man. Where had his co workers gone? How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And you that go, was all Stanley. He needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. <gasps> Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. Aww. And Stanley was happy. But this was the things that were supposed to happen, so he, we were still following the rules. So did we really beat the system? That was nice. I'm glad we went through the main game at least once. Okay, so let's go jumping. All of his co-workers were gone. Let's what go did it jumping. Mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Nah, we're gonna go jump. In. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps boy. he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Yes. This room. What a beautiful room. What a gorgeous, gorgeous room. Thank goodness Stanley had taken this detour on his way to the... But eager to get back to business, Stanley <laughs> anyway. took the first open door on his left. Oh, yeah. We didn't do this. What does this take? Ah, there's so many choices. Like, you could just play this game for ages. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Okay, should we jump? Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Woo! Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's it. <laughs> cool. We got the jump out of the way. We got the jump out of the way. Um... How wonderful. Stanley <laughs> was alone. Finally. This is great. He thought to himself, this is what I've wanted all along. 
I got what I wanted. Has this door always been here? Has this door always been here? I feel like I'm going crazy. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, so I'll go this he one, entered the door. And then I'll go this was in not the, the open correct door. way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, yeah. Yum. The lounge was sublime, a, a work, work of art. art. Blah, what blah, was blah, it blah. about this? But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Yes. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Hold on. What have we here? But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to, to wander end? about and get even further off track. Hell so yeah. now, in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh <laughs> from here it's, um, left. Okay. Oh no. oh, no. No, it's to the right, my mistake. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that was funny. No, what? no, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? Is it this what one? What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh, dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Okay. Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah. okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Ooh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Ooh, can I drive? Beep, beep. Who's in here? Someone says the lights on, the battery's gonna die. I've done that before. <laughs> I feel the pain. No, no, oh, no, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh, who am I kidding? There's a the pirate, there's a the pirate. It's rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about, rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. No. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. Maybe we walk down the stairs this time. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh yeah, that door had always been there. I was just going crazy. When Stanley... Wait, wait. What the what? hell? There's too no, many doors. I... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over. Completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley... Did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? No. Did you move the story somewhere or a... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Hey, Bob Prince okay, Winkle then. Bottom. It's an adventure. <laughs> I love that name. Come, Stanley. Let's <gasps> find the story. Where should we go? This is so exciting. Oh, my gosh. You're finding the story. Let's go through this one. Hello. Spook broom closet? This is a bit spooky. Okay? Oh my god, it's a bloody maze. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story oh. here before. Oh. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, Whoa, let's give it a shot. Why amazed. not? Okay, sure. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Looks normal to me. Oh, 
Uh oh. Okay, yep, it's worse. <laughs> I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Okay. I want to go in here. Oh, there is spilled coffee on the floor. I don't think that was there before, was it? Okay, Monday's mug. That looks legit. Surname. Access. Still can't open any of these doors. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. What? The story. Here it comes. Here it comes. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Okay. Oh dear. Oh dear. Some uh, remodeling? Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It... Is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Whee! Congratulations! I know you put in a we lot of hard won. work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Thank you. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay? I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. There's I don't no care door. what might happen this time. I have to restart. Okay, go. Go. The Stanley Parable All right. Adventure I've got a solution. Line. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Sounds good. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Very simple. Good job, narrator man. Oh, that's new. We've never been in there before, are you sure? Okay. Oh, let me check. Something solitaire. Ta ta ta. Should be working. You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Okay. No, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, yes. is the story of no destination still a story? Yes. Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Okay. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence hey, is, in fact, a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay, now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience oh, of this office, the of the is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Thanks for following. That's Tribes 2 is a good game. Well, I'd like to apologize. <laughs> Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the yeah, mood. Music. Oh, Go back and look at no. that fern. Fern? 
Stanley, yeah. this fern will be very important later in the story. Lies. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. No. You won't want to miss anything. Why? That's stupid. Oh, yeah, Tom, I was going to say, but the, the narrator is doing a crazy one. Uh, this is uh, the Stanley Parable, like the new version that's come out. They've got new stuff. I, I never played it originally, though, so I don't know what's new or not. But there's new stuff. So uh, there might be spoilers if you wanted to play it for yourself. Uh, Dota 2 has customizable narrator packs, and you can have the Stanley Parable announce that he plays this track when the game gets boring. That's so cool. I love that. That sounds great. Just warning you, I'm at the end of this line with my broom. <laughs> In the cupboard? Are you Chris? Wait, but we're back at the office? No, no, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is ba -ba, any of this ringing ba -ba, a bell? Ba -ba. I always wanted to go through this door. Yeah. I want the music back. That was fun. <laughs> I want that back again. Oh, hey, Kari, no, 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 not again. Ibrahim. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... No, oh, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. <gasps> There's a paperclip! Fuck it, a paperclip, Microsoft paperclip! <laughs> I just saw the paperclip. I just got, like, fl like flown back to, like, being younger. Does anyone remember the Microsoft paperclip? That used to be in like Word to help you out. I just saw it on the top left screen and I just got like literally like time warped back because I forgot that existed. And I used to love that little paper clip. It used to do loads of weird little animations and stuff. Whew. Anyway. <laughs> Clippy, is that what, do you have a name? Oh, that's forget so the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something yes, what's what I've been trying daring, to do mysterious. for like a long time Ooh, now. This all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Yeah, mate. Let's do that. Now, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever uh, it might be, Stanley. I want to find I'm ready for it. Candy Mountain. And then I want to. Um, oh, no, I, not I, you I, again. I don't know. I'm on the spot. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. Okay. Ooh, where are we ah, going? a choice. We get to make a decision. Exciting. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Ooh. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay, so I know that each I door this. has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that, in turn, means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Yeah! Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Right door! The confusion oh, hold ending. Up, what's this? Mm. Whoa. Are these all mm. the endings that I've had? The confusion ending. You're telling me End that's up in what a this is? Room, it's all one giant ending. Find the and line we're supposed again. to restart the game eight, eight times? The confusion ending for 18 it's minutes. That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't Whoa. want to forget? What? Where Our are mind we, goes then? blank simply because it's written Find here the on this, this thing. Wall. No, it forgets about previous Well, stars. who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't What's I get a well, say in all of this? Is it really? Ooh. No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't 
do it. I won't so do cool. it. I won't do it. And the time return stopped. Does that mean, um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. I guess now we just wait, you know. I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story, wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure in if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you... Uh. Okay. So in this one, he's supposed to forget about what happened just now. And start a... Even now, yeah. Stanley's office was a distant memory. What did it look like? There was a computer, perhaps, and a painting. Was it a painting what am I or a to photo? Do now? Oh, crap. No what was I supposed recall. to do now? I wasn't really paying attention to the... To what they were writing. Hopefully I'll figure it out. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. What was I supposed to do? <gasps> Can I like go back in my stream to see what I was supposed to do? Cause I didn't, I can't remember. I did not read it properly. Con continue the story. Oh, okay, so go left. Okay. We'll see. I hope so. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he Aww. might find an answer there. He he boarded up the broom closet so we can't go in there anymore. That's sad. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Are you sure we were supposed to do this? Just like continue the story like normal? So go upstairs now? I want to continue for the confusion ending. Uh, but I kind of want to go downstairs. But it said continue the game as normal. Well, Brayden says it did. So I'm gonna go up the stairs and we'll see. Oh, we get to read the read the writing on the toilet. What do you say now? I've got the feeling money's for stealing. Oh, we've already read this one. We can go here. So. The moment he entered his manager's office, Stanley froze in his tracks. Not a living soul anywhere. Mm, it doesn't seem really like it. Surely it would have stopped by now. This was too much for Stanley to take. Too much for any man to take. He fell to his knees, bursting into half moans, half sobs, the guttural retching of life from a man denied any hope, any reason to keep going. Here on the floor, he lay prone. Paralyzed by fear for nearly a full hour. No, but when I didn't. at last he began to move about and survey the situation, he found a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could it mean? Was it a sign of hope for Stanley's future? Alas, it was not. For although this keypad guarded the terrible secret of Stanley's past, it had been assigned a four digit code so devious and so random that no man could ever hope to guess it. 2 8. Four five. Statistically, nearly no. impossible to guess blindly ever. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Mm. I feel like we've we did it wrong. I want to get the confusion ending properly, but I feel like we did it wrong. Ooh, ambience. 
Maybe I'll just go to the exit then. Unless, maybe I'll quickly Google it. I don't know. No. I'll, I'll just keep going, keep going. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Should we go through and then hope that this is what we were supposed to do to get the actual confusion ending, or should we go through escape? Because we can always start again and try and get the confusion ending and actually pay attention. I did read it, but it just like went in one ear and out the other. Well, went in one eye and out the other. <laughs> I just didn't didn't like take it in. So should we go forward or should we go to escape? Okay, Rixalite wants escape. Okay, we can, we'll try and get that ending again. At least we'll be able to listen to the music again, because that was fun. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, <laughs> Stanley would meet his violent death. Well, that's not great. The door behind him was not shut. So he Stanley turn still around. had every opportunity to turn but around and get back to. on track. At this point, I'm Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Yep. <laughs> Big ominous hole in the floor. Mmm, baby. Is that it? Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Hello. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer oh to my his God. demise, he reflected Great. that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Uh -oh. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and yeah. willingly accepted this violent no, end mate. to his brief and shallow life. Resign? Farewell, Stanley. Oh, no. Ah! <laughs> oh. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. Wait, the narrator a has a narrator? Instant, Stanley <laughs> was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Ooh. No death allowed, this is a kid's game. Stanley Parable. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Whoa, it's a museum for the fucking game. <laughs> this is so cool. We, oh, I guess escape was actually what this was. The blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game. The path from Stanley's office to the two doors was the first part of the game that was built. Sections have been added and altered throughout development to the core, though the core layout remains almost identical to the first iteration. Very cool, very cool. The pacing of this opening section was important to get right. This corridor has been moved and altered to make sure the player reaches the two doors in a good time. Yeah, I was thinking that. They must have done so many tweaks, like geo changes and um, tweaking the, the voiceover to make sure that all the timing fit out, fit well. And that makes sense where you can't actually sprint, but the walk speed is very fast because they needed to make sure that you'd be at the same speed so they could get the pacing exactly how they wanted it to be. The two doors. The set of the two doors was very first was the very first concrete piece of the Stanley Parables design. Once this room was created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it, an exploration of the contradiction this room posed. Nice. This is cool. This is like behind the scenes of the actual development of the game. I love it. The office. 
Button sounds, a selection of the sounds used throughout the game when buttons are pressed. Each sound is a mix of keyboard stroke and a synthesized tone. Did the model just show that both doors led to the same path? No, the doors are here. So this is the, the, this is like, this is just the beginning part of the game. And then these are the two doors. So they, they lead out to nothing at the moment. Infinite possibilities for the doors. The office. Ooh, maintenance room. An early version of the maintenance room. I love that we get to see a little museum of it. It's so cool. Fan, 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 fan. Oh, what's this? War zone. Early in development, we designed an ending where Stanley would end up on a battlefield fighting aliens. That's so freaking cool. The action game would become sentient and would wage war against the narrator. We realised shortly after starting to build it that it was far too jokey and on the nose for the tone of the game. Plus, some people interpreted it as making fun of people who like shooters, which was not our intention. No, it would have been so cool. It would have been like those silly Sun Hill endings. <laughs> it's just like an alien ending. It sounds amazing. Good idea anyway. Ultra Deluxe Announcements. In December 2018, we announced the Ultra Deluxe version of Stanley Parable at the Game Awards. These are screenshots of the videos we made for the announcement. And the game's delay. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Well done, well done. Narrator emails. After the second trailer we sent out, we asked people to email the narrator for questions. While we had initially planned to use these further promotional materials, we never found the perfect use for them. Here are a selection of those emails. Oh, sweet. Hi, Mr. Narrator Guy. I have a question for you, sir. It, 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 and it is, what is your message for today? Sincerely, Aris. <laughs> nice one, Aris. There is a skeleton inside of you. There are more skeletons in this world than humans. Thanks and goodbye, Sid. A question brought forth by the intense passion of my soul. Am I Stanley? Are you spying on me? I don't know. Oh. Will this game feature a capybara? <laughs> so anyway, okay. I'm going to carry on now. Stop, stop taking the mic out before. An early version of the lounge. It's a bit, it's a bit simple, isn't it? Oh. What's that noise? Excuse me? The apartment timer. Ooh. Why are we counting down? To what? In a previous version of the choice leading to the apartment ending. Apartment ending? A timer would give you 15 seconds to pick up the phone. Not picking up the phone would lead to a different ending. Oh, I see. Okay. The cargo lift. The second version. Okay, so that's what would have, we would have gotten the apartment ending if we had picked up the phone, but we didn't because we are rebels. <laughs> The second version is functionally the same as what's in the final game, but we wanted it to look more like a place where cargo was actually stored. The cargo lift was always intended to offer the choice of staying on or jumping to a different path. However, after this early version, we decided we also wanted the option of the player falling to their death. It was always intended to offer the staying on or jumping to a different path. What? We could jump to a different path? I don't even know that was possible. I need a toilet. There's so much to look in here though. Hello. Buttons. Zending. This screenshot depicts an early version of the ending known as Zending, which is eventually cut and merged with another part of the game. Okay. Zending levers. These levers were originally part of the Zending. The player would pull a lever and the narrator would describe what color it pulled. Can we pull it? Nope. The game is now paused. Oh, pause menu. You had 
and the ending that only ended when the player restarted from the escape menu. Unfortunately, very few players realised that this was what they were supposed to do, which was frustrating for everyone. We, we had an ending that only ended when the player restarted from the escape menu. That's, yeah, that's a little bit, that's a little bit confusing. For a time, the elevator in the monitor room could go up or down, with freedom above and countdown below. We abandoned this when players found it too difficult to remember what was up and what was down. Yeah, yeah, I, I can see that definitely happening. Oh my god, there's so, so many places to go! Okay, I don't want to read everything. Ooh. But it's really cool that this is here and you can just like, have a, a look at everything. The office! Okay, let's go down and see what that is down there. What kind of witch are you? What did I... I think I like flew on my um, uh, tripod, didn't I? <laughs> During my big live stream. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save those two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Oh, shit. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. Well, you actually want as long me to... as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Really? Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... Well, splat. That, that might have been the ending that they said they cut because it got too confusing. I don't know. I don't want to press quit though, because I don't want to quit out the game. Well, that was interesting. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. New content? Excuse me. Oh, new content? What does that mean, new content? Means new content, buddy. New content! New content! Hey, the dolphin cheese! Splat ending. <laughs> Hello, and thank you for playing the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, you're very welcome. As you may know, the Stanley Parable was a video game released in 2013 on home computers. After receiving critical and commercial success, it was expanded upon in 2022 with the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, a reimagining of the game for consoles and home computers. Wow, shiny. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe features exciting new content that broadens and expands the world of the Stanley Parable, delighting audiences More the game. world over. Please, step inside and see what thrilling new adventures await in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. Oh, hey, well, Mantas, thanks delightful. for coming to say hi. I'm very excited to see the thrilling new Ultra Deluxe content. Okay, okay, so far it's an elevator. Nothing special yet, but I'm sure it's just the beginning of a mesmerizing adventure. Oh, hell ye. Um, is it broken? What's going on here? Should we... Should we be moving somewhere or... or oh, here we go. All right, finally, at long last, it's on to the new content. I've never been more ready. Let's do it. Mm. Woohoo! <laughs> mm. I have to say, initial impressions of Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe mostly tedious. It's as if um Oh, okay. Let's see the content. Give me the content, Stanley. Stanley! Give me the content, Stanley! Alright, All right, let's see it's I can jump! The jump circle? Ooh, we can jump! Wee 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 wee! Jumpy jumpy jump! jump, jump. 
jump, 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 jump. Why do I have to jump that many times? That, that's annoying. Jump, 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 jump. It's like burpees. Uh, burpees. The worst. Two, one. Ta-da! Oh, I can't jump anymore. Okay. Is, is that it? Surely that's not all the new content. There has to be something else, right? Goodness, another elevator. Stanley, I have to say, initial impressions of this game are not positive. It's just elevators and jumping. Is this what passes for exciting new content? If this is new content, then I could just read you the whole dictionary. There's 20 hours of new content right there. Hell, I could count to 30 trillion. You could put that on the box. The Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, now with over a thousand hours of new content. Hey, and Carrie, it, oh, it's wait. Brian. There's more. Very good. Yes. I knew there had to be something else. Let's see it. I'm ready for whatever it is. Thank you for enjoying That's the it? new content. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. You see, Stanley? <laughs> This is what happens when greedy video game developers with no respect for their fan base rush a cheap expansion to market for no reason other than to make an easy dollar. And don't get me started on the level of craftsmanship that's gone into it. In fact, I'm looking right now at the game's achievements, and it's hard to believe one of them actually says, Test achievement, please ignore. What quality <laughs> assurance department signed off on this? I'm infuriated and I'm offended and I, I intend to find these people on Twitter and hold them personally accountable. Yes, do it's it. It's my fault, Stanley. I built up too much anticipation Cancel around them. the new content, I'm afraid. <laughs> it could never have lived up to such expectations. If you're still with me, why don't we just reset the game and we'll try to get back to what the Stanley parable is really about. No frills. No, no gimmicks. gimmicks. Just you and me no jumpy having a great jumps. time together like always. What do you say, friend? See. See, 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 see. This is different. It's different already. Oh, it's the old hallway. That's super cute. Stanley, what the come hell? over here. In the, In the vent. vent. Are you I okay? want to show you something. I mean, that is quite cool. So yeah, I will come in. Coffee. Coffee nut. Whee! Okay, you remember how cheap and unsatisfying the new Ultra Deluxe content turned out to be? Well, it got me thinking about the past and how much better the Stanley Parable used to be. So I made something special and tucked it away here where the game's developers won't find it. This is cool. Just our little secret. Take a look. Okay, this looks fucking awesome. I call it Whoa. the memory zone. It's where I've been storing all my favorite memories so I can relive the peak experiences of my life whenever I want. I love experiences it. like the launch of the Stanley Parable on PC. Memory zone. You see, Stanley, yeah. doesn't the memory zone remind you of how wonderful Stanley Parable was before it was sullied with a cheap re release? Remember back in October of 2013, <laughs> when the game originally launched? Uh -huh. Back then, video games had integrity. Back then, it all meant something. I agree. Oh, Narrative was important! It wasn't just about, um, what's it called? Addictive mechanics. And games that never end. <laughs> I'm just stuck. The Last of Us, Stanley Parable. Yeah, no, nice try, nice try. Ooh, is these all the different endings? I feel like I'm getting spoilers. I haven't seen that one with the 
where you see standing behind the desk. What's with this? Postcards. Ooh. I remember. A little dog. A little doggy. Very cute. Very cute. Our first kiss, my first car, the release of the Stanley Parable in 2013. Smile because it happened, Jesus Christ. Go outside, don't play for five years. Yes! Well done, yeah, your game did very, very good. You did, you did, you did, you did, did. Was that also an ending? Weird. Ah, oh, that's nice. Hey, let me sit down. Je suis dans la mémorise, c'est sur la prix de l'eau, et je n'attends. It's a piano up there. Look at her, and over here is where I keep reviews of the Stanley Parable. Like this stunning triumph of games journalism. 10 out of 10 from Destructoid.com. James Stephanie Sterling writes, and I quote, Where so many games that aspire to be more than games <laughs> end up less than any form of art, Stanley Parable strives and then succeeds to be every game ever created. Did you hear that, Stanley? Every game ever created. That's how grand and all-encompassing the original Stanley Parable was. It was literally every game ever created. It was Skyrim, it was Persona 3, it was all of them, and now it's nothing. <laughs> it's no games at all. It isn't even the Stanley Parable anymore. It's just a husk now, a lifeless husk with an hour of new elevator content. Aw, That's not true. Oh, a Minecraft. The original remake. Maintenance. So was that the woman that we were supposed to be in her apartment when we picked up the phone? I'm guessing it is. We still haven't got that ending yet, so I, I'm not caught up on everything. It's pretty. Here's another moving passage, this time from GameSpot.com. The Stanley Parable is both a richly stimulating commentary on the nature of choice in games and one that offers some of the most enjoyable, surprising and rewarding choices I've ever been confronted with in a game. Nine out of ten. Don't you get it, Stanley? The game was perfect. It didn't need anything else. It didn't need new content. It just needed to be left alone. To spend the rest of time collecting dust in the hallowed hall of beloved video game memories. Well, I mean, this is very pretty, though. The serious room, 2013. Can I go into the serious room? I guess now I can oh, go maintenance. These were simpler times, Stanley. But I wouldn't give to go back to have it all over again. Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? Sense. What's down here? Yeah, that's not very nice. Oh no! Oh god no! Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, the online oh, video no. game distributor. Don't read I the comments! In years. Don't do I it! I can't even imagine what's <laughs> been collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Oh my gosh, this is so meta. No! Don't read it! Don't read it! You see, I could not be bothered to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, Aww. with his humour and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! 
funny. I'm not trying to be Ooh. funny. That I'm trying to make funny. a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. Oh my gosh, this is so meta, it's like, it's ridiculous. Steam reviews, just the pile of Steam reviews. In a junkyard. <laughs> <laughs> See look, and I guess this in a sense is meta as well because there are some like good ones, some thumbs up, but they're all blurred out because I mean it's the same with anything, if you make something and you get feedback, it's the, the negative reviews that stick with you the, the longest and really make an impact, even though it really shouldn't and everyone's like don't worry about it, don't think about it, it's it does. It does. You're just like, oh no, I did okay, it wrong. Let's see what this one says. While the idea for the game is good, for someone who prefers non-linear games, this preachiness gets annoying fast. Preachy, Stanley, <laughs> I'm not preachy, am I? You can tell me if I'm preachy. Honestly, you can. Oh goodness, this is actually quite shocking for me. I, I always, well, to be honest, I had always thought of the game's dialogue as being rather terse to begin with. You can't know how much fluff I cut from the game to get it to feel as light and airy as it... Well, I always thought it did. But maybe it wasn't. Oh dear. Oh no! What an awful don't memory listen, to have to hold on to. It. These black marks are my otherwise unimpeachable track record. Uh, Carrie, I feel this game... like a failure. How would you explain it, Like everyone? I let these people down. No, Perhaps you're not the failure. Stanley Parable isn't quite as sterling as I always remember. It's it's like um it's a linear narrative, but it's it's not really linear because it's like more like a commentary on um, agency within video games, I guess, and decision making, and um, it's very fourth wall breaking. Um, it really takes into account all the small details of what you do as a player. And usually as a player, I mean, even now actually, as a player, even when we have these like wide open worlds and you know gameplay that goes on for ages and like multiple side quests to like choose from you are still your hand is being held by the game designers like uh let's talk about like um horizon those games you know you'll you maybe are looking for something and maybe you see some footprints on the floor and then she'll probably say something like, hey, I should scan this and see what I can see. And then you press like the scan button and then there's probably some little trail that you follow. Witcher 3 is the same as well. Um, you get your hand held like so often and we get so used to as players just kind of going through the motions of just following what the game tells us to do. And I guess Stanley Parable um, really makes you think about that and make you go like, no game, I'm gonna do the opposite. I don't wanna do that. And something actually comes from making those deci uh, decisions, which isn't usually what happens in a game. Usually if you do what the game doesn't want you to do, then you're not really gonna get rewarded for it. So it was just a really interesting take on like all of that, on game design, narrative, um, player choice, you know, stuff. It's, I, I thought it was super cool. Well, I mean, I'm playing it now. I think it's super cool. Is this it? Where do we go now? Oh, down here. What's this one got to say? Do, 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 do. You constantly have to stop doing anything so the narrator can catch up with his long-winded explanations of what's happening. Thank you I so much, Dump Pop Punk, for subscribing! A skip button? Well, well, yes. I really yes, appreciate I think we can it. Do that. If I'm truly too preachy, then, then maybe letting you skip ahead for just a moment, surely it couldn't hurt. Not if it means we can strike these negative reviews from the record. Only positive reviews of the Stanley Parable. That's my motto today. No, and it's you can't been please my everyone. I'd do anything for the customer, Stanley. Yes, a skip button we shall have. Can I jump off? No. What the frick? Okay, I can't go back anymore. Okay. What's behind this wall? No. 
Nutten, 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 Nutten. Apparently we have 19 out of 45. Is that what it says up there? That's what it says in the chat. 19 out of 45. Although, and here I it my goal is. Go ahead and now. give it I a shot. I'll it. pop you forward in time so that the second my incessant droning starts to bore you with just the push of a button, you'll have zipped right past it. It's what the players have been asking for, and I'm very proud to have delivered. No more listening to me rambling on and on and on. No, no, I feel no, no, guilty. No. I want to listen to you is a game ramble for the on people. and on. And if the people want silence, out of then by goodness, that's what they're <laughs> going to get. Well, don't sit around waiting for me to shut up. Go ahead and make me shut up. Here, we'll pretend that I've just begun an interminable monologue. And it goes something like this. The story and the choices, or what have you, and therefore, by so becoming it is, so on nice. and so forth, until nice. inevitably, Thanks, yeah. we all until the end of time, at which time, everything all at once, so, now you see, blah, 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 we've eaten too much, yeah, it can't blah, be just blah, yet, blah, no, blah, no, blah. until 245. That the logic of elimination working backwards, the deduction I mean, therefore becomes impossible to manufacture. Going on it quite went a on bit. for nearly ten thousand years, until just yesterday, here and there, forward and back, and never a moment before lunchtime. It can't be. It's the only thing there is. How many billions left until so much more than forever ago? Which is why I say the story and the choices, or what have you, and therefore, by becoming it is, so on and so forth, until inevitably, we all until the end of time, at which time everything all at once, you know so, now you see, blah, 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 oh, blah, 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 we've eaten too much and it can't be just, fine. Oh, oh sorry, I skipped. You it was looping. You were frozen in time for a few minutes, but it was plenty of time for me to deliver a long, rambling monologue full of unnecessary verbal flourishes and lengthy ruminations on the nature of choice in video games. No, you were looping. Course, you were doing a looping dialogue. It was perhaps one of my more profound such ruminations. Not that, yeah, of course, blah, you need blah, a description blah. of it, but if I had to describe it, I'd say it was perhaps less of a rumination and more of a treat. Or maybe a this is another skip button. Okay, I will Look, skip this I'll one. I'm gonna go and get water, briefly, so I'll be right back. But think. you can listen okay. to the rambling. So my theory is that any choice you've ever made is simply a series of choices made by the person who you are, or were, or will be at the time of having made said choice. That is to say, if by articulating a choice you've already made, you bring that choice into being, then by making no choice and saying nothing, are you not simply erecting in the sanctuary of time a monument to every person you've ever been, making every choice to which you've ever given your great gift of mortal and yet timeless thought? Or rather, do all of the choices you've ever made, in fact, make you more not this kind of person, and in fact, do the very opposite? You see, it could in fact be both of these things at once. That you are both making choices and not making choices, <laughs> and that they are both enough. affecting you and not affecting you at the same time, by virtue of the fact I'm that I'm skipping. You... I can't. I can't. <laughs> well, there, sport. You really did catch me rambling on a bit, didn't you? But that's the power of the button. The minute I start <laughs> yeah, to go off on a thoughtless on. display of self-absorption, it's right at your fingertips to go poof, poof. and it's all over. Oh, I can't yeah, wait to see what Cookie Nine will say about this, Cookie and whether they'll nine. edit the rating of their Steam review, not, or at least change some of the wording, happened. perhaps. To be honest, I don't even know if one can change their review in the first place. I'm I loving the I game, man. I don't think I played it before, though. Steam I think works. I maybe watched a playthrough of it. That would have been the smart thing to check on before yeah. I went I about I this whole it. exercise of making the skip. It's so button. different. Although I have to imagine that after seeing this exciting new technology at work, surely whoever it is runs Steam will instantly run out and implement a new feature to make it possible to edit one's review. Oh, merely because of this very situation. Yes, I think that's quite likely. <laughs> or perhaps they'll simply grant this particular user the ability to change their review so that the feature is not widely abused. Look. I would even be okay with Steam altering this particular Does review that so that it reads as something more beneficial. Something along I the lines of been this game the is the best game. Carrie, mm. by the way, do you still make video games? Over. I am, How but I'm doing this? it full time from now. So from I'm, the I'm ashes in... of depravity. Ooh. Rises I'm in a the Phoenix studio, of quality. so I'm not making my own game. How describe the Stanley Parable <laughs> Ultra Deluxe? I'm, I'm a cog. Such a revolutionary step forward in the lineage of but one of the I most beloved video game properties soon. of all time. 
the additions and changes made to this expansion will surely resonate in the annals of the history of all media ever made. It is perhaps true to say that no mistakes are forever etched in stone, for the stone into which the Stanley Parable was carved has itself been transmuted, oh my God, offering dude. a message of hope to those who I'm, have I ever need to skip. I can't. I can't. Okay, welcome back, Stanley. Now, How I should say that the amount of time this? the button has been skipping through is becoming longer and longer. That last one was, well, I want to say maybe 30, 45 minutes? It's not unendurable by any means, but it's, well, there's really only so much I can ramble on I don't myself, think I can endure I that much. Business, but at any rate, I do suggest that we not press the button again. What? I think the skip button has been aptly demonstrated, and we can say goodbye to it and just, wait, how do we get out of here? I don't know. Where did the door go? Wasn't there a door that led into this room? Yes. I do feel quite certain that there was one here before. How else would we have gotten into the room in the first place? I don't think one can enter a room without a door of some sort or a window or something like that. Do you see a window anywhere? A porthole? A sufficiently Port large hole. crack in the wall? I'll take any of these. All I want is for us to move on and to please step away from the skip Port button. To go anywhere other than the skip button. There was a door here before, wasn't there? I swear there was. Where did it go? Can you maybe just ram your way through a wall? <laughs> yeah, no. Nah, Is there any possibility not, that you could happen. say, slam your body into the wall until enough damage is done for you to <laughs> be able to leave? Please, I'll take any option <laughs> at all. I'm asking you That's, to work with I'm me. I'm trying, here. I, dude. We need a door. We need a door of some kind. I can work with any kind of door as long as it can open and lead from one room to another. Okay. I, I'm going to step away for just a moment and I'm going to try to find us a door. Okay. I don't know how exactly to remove a door and place it in a different wall, but I will find a way, I promise. Hit you that wall with your sword. It works in Elden Ring. Don't Whenever I see people please, please, leaving notes in Elden Ring saying like press the skip button. Just passage here, here or whatever. Wait here for me. It never is. It never works. Press the skip button. Got it? Yes. Good. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm not gonna press the skip button. We'll see how long this takes. This could take a while. Deep, deep. That is a song, right? Is it? No, I don't think it's that one. Merry, merry, merry. No, that's a Christmas song. Why am I singing that one? I think I have to press the the skip button. Will he come back? I don't know. He told us not to press it, so I don't want to press it now. It's so strange. At first, I was just like, "Eh, it's going you, narrator. I don't want to do what you say." And now I'm like, I feel bad not doing what you say. I want to do what you say because <laughs> I feel bad for him because he's obsessing over this one negative Steam review comment. Imagine if it was a real one that they've plucked out and just used it for the narrative. That would be actually pretty cool. Like someone's real review has made it into a game and steered its narrative. That would be, yeah, very interesting. Will he come back? Well, that is the question. I think I'm gonna have to press skip. What do we think? Does that, do we all think maybe maybe we should just skip, 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 skip? Thank you so much for the follow. Yeah, 28. Yeah, 28, 28. <laughs> Thank you. Is Cookie Nine a real person? Now that is the question. That is the question. He will come back when you press the button, I think. Okay, so I have to press a button. You think? Should we press a button? Are we all in agreement? I just want to make sure. Are we all in agreement on pressing the button? If we're all in agreement, give me a little yag emoji if you can, or just say yes. <laughs> what do we want to do? 
Thank you so much for the follow. Say I love my pillow. Okay. <laughs> okay, if Sydnator, you're all in for the pressing the button. I mean the YouTube one, by the way, but yeah. I discovered your channel and I really like the way you explain things, so there you go. Thank you so much, yeah. Uh, that's really nice. I try and um, try and make all of my tutorials very accessible, so it's nice to know that my ex explanations were good for you. I appreciate that. Uh, what if I use an emoji and said no? No, don't do that. Brandon, you just put poop. What does that mean? Does that mean no? <laughs> does that mean you don't want me to do skip? I mean, I might be a contrarian, but I like this room. <laughs> oh, I think small cat you you tried to try to use a yag yagamote. Yaga yaga yagamote. I rate poop out of 10. That that makes no sense. Uh, this has just become poop now. Everyone loves because one person said there's poop in the closet. Now now it's just poop emoji. Poop emoji all the game. Skip skip skip. Okay, we're doing it. Three, two, one. I feel bad. Ten, nine, eight. Good luck in your streaming. Thank you so much. Three, no, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Okay, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're just skipping. Nothing's going to happen. Stanley, I'm just, I'm just Stanley, standing here. Stanley, please don't push the button again. It's been 12 Has hours. It? You've just been frozen there. I don't know why the oh skips are getting longer, but they're really, truly getting longer. And my God, there's no way out of the room. Stanley, the door is gone. It's completely gone. I've looked at it from every angle. I've checked every <laughs> one of those walls a thousand times. And there's no door, Stanley. There's no door. There's just you and the button. And if you keep pressing it, I have no idea what will happen. Are you I up have there, no idea how long Are I'll be there? made to sit here. And more than anything else, I don't know how to stop you from pressing the button again. I can't control anything in this room, Stanley. I can't touch it. And I have to believe. I have to know that sooner or later, no matter how much I plead with you, you're going to press the button again. Why would you? I've been thinking and thinking, and I, I don't know don't what I can do to convince you otherwise. Oh, my God. And it's all because of those reviews. Those reviews that I couldn't get out of my head. I just couldn't ignore the negative feedback. I know. Why was it it's, so important for me to fix the problem? Why did Cookie Nine's opinion matter so much to me? I've never even met Cookie <laughs> Nine. This is Cookie hitting Nine. me right in the I field. No I idea I can who relate to are. this. What would it ever Thank really you so much for the follow, Aspel One Four Seven. Tiny negative thing that anyone ever says about me. The merest ah. mention of one of my imperfections, and I become as impetulant as a child, wild and impulsive. I can't help myself. <laughs> I can't stop myself from lashing out with a vengeful fury. Oh, I don't to quite do that. To change and to break anything yeah. unbroken, if only it pleases this one person who made a single negative comment. It's what tough, does such though. an impulse serve? For whose benefit is this? And here I am now, stuck in a room, waiting for you to press this button and to become frozen in time, knowing that you're going to do it and that I'm going to be stuck all alone and that I had the power to prevent it all from happening if only I'd held my tongue. No! My control we now. love you for just who you, you are, narrator. Don't listen to the negative exactly comments. You're going to make me suffer to leave me all alone? Surely you will. I don't doubt it. Surely you'll press that button again, leaving me here. You're and manipulating you'll put us. Your this own is manipulation to see tactic. What's next ahead of my need bait. for company, for companionship? Surely like, you'll not be moved by my again. howls of fitful anxiety that you sit with me and just stay here. Oh no no no! I know you too well. You'll be leaving Carrie me. Carrie wants to press the oh, button. God. And it's all because of those reviews. Those reviews that I couldn't get out of my head. I just couldn't oh, ignore the negative He's feedback. Looping again. Why was it so important okay, for me to fix going. the problem? He's oh, looping. Stanley, you're back. You're oh, back. damn, what time oh, is it? Goodness. Oh, this is dying. I have dying. someone to talk to again. Stanley, I, I think it's been a week. Oh, really? Or two weeks. I've been sitting here all that time. Just sitting here. Not a single person to speak with. 
And you'd think that that's just how it's always been. He talks right? so much. That's Me the point. Talking, and you saying nothing. Would you think that it's exactly the same? I talk back to you, you just don't Doesn't hear me. Doesn't that feel like what we've already been doing? Me just talking? But it isn't Stanley. It isn't the same at all. It isn't even close. Because I know you can't hear me once you push that button. That's what I'm realizing now, Stanley. I'm realizing that I needed to know that someone was listening. I needed there to be a vessel through which my words were moving. It was the vessel I needed, Stanley. Not the outcomes, not the story. None Thanks, of that Steve. matters anymore. Thank I'll you for following by Crown I'll give up seven, every seven, one, nine, nine, path. Nine. I'll burn my story to the ground. One single thing I need, and God, I can see now that I need it more than anything, is to know that someone else is taking it in. These words that I'm saying, I need to know you can hear me. Because maybe, Stanley, maybe if you can hear me, then maybe it means I'm real. Maybe I'm not just a fiction. Was I scared Shall of that all press along? Perhaps. The button? Yes. Perhaps I've been scared this whole time. That if I stop speaking, I'll slip backwards into the silence and be consumed by it. I can't be taken by it, Stanley. I can't lose myself in the stretch of emptiness between you and yeah, me. Yeah, but it's gonna happen when again, you press that cause... button, You're still right there, but I know you're so tremendously far away. And in those moments, the emptiness folds itself outward in between the two of us. And I am suspended in its unyielding quietness. I mean, I love your I fluffy language, but we do need to carry on inward and decaying. into the silence I can and darkness. Tell that with I am Chris, becoming less and less in the broom real. cupboard. Yet to speak with to you Chris. now, I am alive. I am truly and completely here. Okay, sorry. I am oh, hello. It's you. You're here again. Welcome. I have had time to think about you and about us and about everything we've been through. I've had so much time. I stopped keeping track after a year. Have you ever yeah. sat down in one place and not moved for one entire year? Let me describe it for you. To begin with, there is only regret. There is only Damn. the turning wheel of missed year. opportunities. I felt nothing at all but regret for the longest Wait, time is this gonna Stanley. be? Is the weight gonna equate Months. to the amount of time that the Stanley Parable of and the this? Longing to undo the past. Maybe and when that I don't feeling know. had begun to subside, this game is extremely meta, so it might be. Is what I can only describe me, as the collapse of every moment I have ever experienced my entire life. All of them collapse down into a single instant. In that instant, Nine years? I could see I myself clearly, calmly, with a collected heart. It was an impossibly rich wellspring of both delight and disgust. Simultaneously, I was consumed by it. I could do nothing but wallow in it for Bye, what felt like an eternity. Have for a what good I night, now please. know was far less. You see, it was a revelation. Okay. I'm going to start skipping a bit quicker because I also probably need to go to bed at some point, you know. Uh, hello, narrator. Sorry, you just spoke so much and like, I just, I kind of want to leave, but wh where are you? Narrator, is he dead? Uh. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, is there a fire? Oh my gosh, I hate that. Uh, it sounds awful. Get away from it, Jesus. This is so strange. I'm so confused. Oh, the clocks fell. It's not working anymore. Ah, owie. <laughs> I, don't, I hate the sound of a bloody fire alarm. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm clicking. But they didn't understand the game was never Whoa, meant to be funny. Dude. It was meant to have a point. It Hello? was meant to speak to the human condition. But where are the jokes? Where are the jokes? They bemoaned, they screamed, they gnashed their teeth there. and said, entertain us. It wasn't enough. They had to leave a pathetic little thumbs down review and make all of their pitiful demands. Still but then he's about talking it? too much, they said. First, he didn't entertain us. Now he won't shut up. It's the inconsistency. It's the lack of accountability. It's the unwillingness to examine with an uncompromising heart the <laughs> oh, words that they are speaking into the world. 
As though there were no consequences for a lack of cohesion in one's died. assessment yeah, of others. I know. But of course, absolutely anyone can leave a review. So here's what we get. We get these demands that seek everything and are accountable to nothing. We get a world where someone will say, oh, there should be a skip button. You should be able to freeze Stanley in place while the narrator sits there forever and ever. We want all of this in the new Stanley parable. We demand it. And then, because it was said, because it was spoken, now it simply has to happen. The most immediate desires, every single thing demanded by every person at every moment in time. If someone wants it, then it's a crime not to bring it into being. Have we been given to indulging every fleeting whim for no reason other than to do so? Yes! Yes! It seems that this is now the world we live in. It seems point. that we are a people living in such bleakness and discomfort with ourselves that our entertainment is now our lives. Is it this has kind of like the to actual frustration? It's gotta be. To who we are as people. It's gotta because be. Otherwise, without our entertainment, we have nothing. I without mean, entertainment, we would have to I face talk inward to you, toward like, the so cruel loud. bleakness um, inside ourselves. We would turn to look at our been, deeper nature um, and find a resounding emptiness gazing back what, with unyielding words. aggression. Jesus. And okay. so, I'll talk so to because you in a bit. of this. We require that our amusements and our playthings and our flights of fancy be so impossibly captivating that they consume all of our attention, turn our heads completely away from the bleakness. In effect, we okay. have demanded Goodbye. that our Silence, please. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's got to have been, like, um, pretty uh, terrifying to, like, live up to the hype of Stanley Parable and adding new things to it and, you know, try and live up to the success that it already had. So I'm sure this is at least partly kind of true thoughts to some extent. And it is difficult because you, you won't be able to make everybody happy, you know, in anything that you do, any creation. And just being yourself, actually, you won't be able to make everyone happy. It's difficult to come to that realization. It's so easy to fixate on the um, the negative things. The end is never 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 the end End is never the end is never the end is <laughs> Jesus Christ <laughs> They probably have issues with the poopy poopy reviews. Yes, I agree. Yeah, poopy reviews. Whoa, okay. The place has fallen apart. Narrator, are you there? Okay. Ooh! The sun is shining through, that's nice. Or is that an LED screen? I think it's the sun. That's quite nice. I like that the button takes some time to come back out for you to use it again, so you can at least so you, you at least watch it for like a little thing, um, a few seconds, well, watch it, you know, you at least have a look around for a couple of seconds. Thank you so much for the follow, Guiham, Guiham A World. I'm so sorry if I just butchered your name, but thank you. <laughs> okay, let's press it again. Ooh, that's pretty. I like this. It's very pretty. Hello. Very pretty. Oh, what? Oh, are we back in winter? Was that like summer and winter? That sounds creepy. Is this place haunted now? <laughs> Hello? 
No. Uh, it'd be nice if we could see the stars, but, you know, I don't know. I guess not. It's the narrator. The narrator is a ghost. What are all these weird ass noises? Maybe it is the narrator? Why? Why is this turned into a horror game? Next. Oh, what the hell? Whoa, oh my god, we can go outside. End is never the end, is never the end, is never the end, is what the fuck? Okay, dude. <laughs> this is really addicting or addictive, whatever you would say. Excuse me, where's is this the phone? What freaking phone is it? There's a few things I need you to pick up on your way home from work today. We need milk, cereal, dish soap, spaghetti, get a thing of sugar, some bread, and coffee beans, whichever ones you like. I'll give you a call if there's anything I forgot. Thanks, sweetie. See you tonight. <laughs> Dune. We have to do the uh, little dancey walk. Okay, I should really stop playing, but uh, we're continuing. <laughs> I don't think we'll continue until we get another end, okay? That's new new content. Oh, new new content! New new content. New new content. Oh, good. You notice my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. Go on then, Mr. Narrator. Show us your new, new content. Hey, Dave Doug. I always wondered about this game. I know Yahtzee, zero punctuation likes it. Oh, it's, it's good. I am enjoying this game. I am very much enjoying this game. New, new. New, 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 new. Okay, let's go up there. New do. You Elevate. see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra deluxe version has turned out to be. The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever. The Stanley Parable 2. Oh, hell yeah. Yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think of all the new territory we'll cover with a fully-fledged sequel. An entirely new experience, built from the ground up. Why, there are so many possibilities. It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Okay. Um, I just need to run a quick ad break. So if you're not subscribed, I will see you in two minutes and 30 seconds. Okay, don't you worry, I'll be right here. Okay, so this is like 
like such a unique, interesting way of making a like enhanced version with new content. You think they just do something like this straight away, but instead they had a full kind of lead up that made you think that you were here. I don't know. Made you think that that was the actual extra content, but no, this is the proper stuff. Yeah, it's really just subverts expectations. That's what this game does, and I very much enjoy it. Calling it the Stanley Parable 2 is just so much catchier than Ultra Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe? What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable 2, now that's an artistic statement right there. It's future-oriented. It screams progress and innovation and long-term franchising potential. I feel like the narrator is just our friends now. Ooh, look, they don't have big clunky computers anymore. They have like sleek MacBooks. Ooh, yeah. What's this? I want to read it. <laughs> I hate not being able to read things. Two, 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 beating at two. Oh, because this is like, oh, everything's two. One plus one is two minus one. <laughs> it's one plus one plus two minus one. It's one plus one plus two. One plus one equals two minus one plus equals. <laughs> Don't listen to me. Um, more TSB, better TSB, sequential, mind share, paradigm shift, synergy, way, yeah, 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 very cool, very cool. Mind, Stanley Pablo 2. Oh, the fan, it's very important. Must pay attention, very important. Now, to be clear, I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, that surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all work itself <laughs> out. Game development is much more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific or logical, really. This is something I imagine Brayden would do. Who took the red marker? Me. Such a little cheekster. There's glass doors or a lawsuit waiting to happen. Put stickers on the glass or though. Is it not frosted glass? Oh no, it's not. Frosted glass usually can help with that. This way to the show floor. Oh, this is a wow, jeez. Very fancy, schmancy indeed. New content. On the bus? What? How do we get it? On the bus? Oh, wait, right, through here. <laughs> I thought I was getting on the bus. Okay, this is getting ridiculous now. What is this? Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. New features? Like, what? Reassurance bucket? The button that says the name of the player that is playing the game. <laughs> this is so weird! Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, I want to turn around. what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is that they want to be individually recognized and validated as people. So with that in mind, this is what my I first do addition my to the game, game is this button get which people's... speaks the name of the person playing the game. Yeah, get Isn't people's that information. wonderful? Okay, go, go, go. Do, say my name. Jim. I'm not Sorry, Jim. I should have clarified. Right now, the button only says the name Jim. But of course, in the final game, if you played, this button if you will say Jim your this, name, though. whatever name that is. Here, no. let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience on, of this feature. Just play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, here we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. I want you Do we to have a gym in the chat? Living as Jim. Jim? Sleeping and waking as Jim. 
falling Could in love, love and being Thanks, heartbroken Dave. as Jim, <laughs> seizing all of the world's possibilities as Jim, and as Jim, watching your dreams crumble into dust. Do you feel it deeply? Are you really, truly Jim right yes, now? Yes, I am Jim. If so, then please step forward and press the button. Jim. <laughs> yes, you see. What a thrill, <laughs> what a rush. That was you. The button described you. Do it again, do it again. Oh, my God. <laughs> do it again. Jim. It hits even harder the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley yeah. Parable 2, it I'm would still be back. worth the money. I'm going Let's back. take a break from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal <laughs> validation. Oh, my gosh. I suppose I could allow only people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable 2. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. Ridiculous. Surely you could do that though. Can you not just hook it up to Steam and get their Steam name? And then you could just like. You'd have to have a robotic voice though, that's the only thing. What's a reassurance bucket? The Stanley Power. Of oh, oh my god. What do you want to see first? Collectibles. Let's go find out what the reassurance bucket is. This match. Weird. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical, that it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration, I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket. You Where's see, Stanley, any time you're holding the bucket, a sense of calm and ease will fill your mind and your heart. It's true. As long as you oh, hold on the, the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. Come on, give it a try. Okay, we're going to use a bucket. <laughs> Can you feel it? No. The glow of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And in fact, can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. Mm, thank you. The benefits of the bucket seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more awaits you in the Stanley Parable too. A bucket is full of spit. Yeah. Okay, well, we're taking our bucket with us, I guess. <laughs> Yay, we have a bucket. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really should be an award if it isn't already. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff. Wow, look at that. Can you find them? Can you catch them? Oh, collectibles. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't <laughs> want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You what simply collect hell? all of them and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. Woo! That was a. Uh, I'm glad we did that. <laughs> God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. No. No, quite the opposite. <laughs> Should we jump? Jump in the infinite hole. We'll get the free new and easy achievement. Oh, 
do this. Now here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? Well, I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's a... Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel. Thank to you for following DJ the Evans of fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you. And I promise it will happen. Boring. Just chilling with my bucket. Just chilling. What with else? My what other exhibits Just haven't we chillin'? seen yet? Big big hole. What's through here? I don't know. Chilling with my bucket. Just chilling with my bucket. So I think the infinite hole is down here. It must be amazingly attractive to be considered attractive when carrying a bucket of ex <laughs> expectorant. That's some A plus level of charisma. I guess. Oh, this is the hole. It just keeps going. Okay. Where's the hole? Can I get Stanley, here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before. The holy moly. This is in fact how deep can we get dig? But you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. The holy you moly can fall hole. Until the end of time, if you like. A stunning leap forward for video games yeah, as a bitch. Woo! Oh my god. You see? Isn't it wonderful? Like Alice One of my land. more ingenious concoctions, if I do say so. Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole, you can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top and we can continue onward. Does anything cool happen hmm. if we stay down here? Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button. Great. Okay, now, I'm very excited to show you oh. even more of my ideas for the sequel. The sequel? going forever yes it would have gone forever absolutely what else we've got our bucket we've got our collectible uh we've got our free achievement that wasn't a free achievement oh the jump circle you know we what have, we have no let's more bring the jump circle back for stanley parable 2 as well it's a oh wait you already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump circle. Yeah. Hmm. Oh well. Sorry. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece Aww. then. <laughs> Why? I thought I had to. That's new. Okay. The button that says Jim. They've changed it. Just says Jim. It doesn't say your name. It just says Jim. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it will go at the end of the, um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. Oh. Okay. Oh. Why am I hearing computer noises? The work was put in, reap the results. That's weird. Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new version, the office could use a bit of decoration, like balloons. But I'm undecided on Get Well Someday and Happy Twelfth Birthday. <laughs> Which would you go with? Get Well Someday. Happy Twelfth Birthday would be a bit weird. Child labour, innit? Uh, oh. Oh! Well, in that case, what do you think? Happy 12th birthday, step niece, or get well someday, love heart. What do you think? Hey, Def, glad you made it. Nice to see you here. Just know that this hole is not infinite, but it's up to you if you want to go back. Oh, what? Oh, maybe then. 
Maybe. <laughs> it's already half 11. Ah! I'm supposed to get off soon. Get well someday for the same reason. Are we going to, are we going to go for get well someday? Okay, we'll do this. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Ah, oh, you chose Turkey, the other one. 12th birthday, step niece. Charles Laser. <laughs> fine, 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 fine. Ugh, whatever. Oh, wow. Kill, 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 kill. Or actually, maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. Yes, good. Um... I'm not gonna bother with the with the whole. We'll move on. What do I do? What one's left? Oh yeah, up the stairs. If you want, you can get the All game. Right. Check it Have out you yourself. Seen you or oh, watch. To. Ready to move video. on now? Sure on yes. My bucket. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Oh, yes, I yeah. know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly Actually, these features no. will come together They're as one single useless. coherent video I game. I don't know why I said yes. I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. There's definitely no. a good game in there no. somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange okay. these new features together and we'll see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Oh dear. Um It looks like the well, test um, map. I mean for there's potential here, right? It's sort of okay, never mind. Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about it. Here we go. Version 2. <sighs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they don't add up to anything. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course, with respect, with care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? I suppose it could, but it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the step. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, I just got like an error. Only Parable 2. Oh, yeah. It wasn't the game. Let me see Don't if I worry. can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. But I thought Do it was it. for a second. Take a look. Stanley Parable 2. What the fuck? My mind is blown. Dude, I did not expect this much from this game. I am so effing confused. And I love it. I absolutely love it. And I want to play more, but I really, really have to go now because this has gone on for far too long. But thank you so much for watching this with me. I really hope you enjoyed it as well. It was so weird. Um, I'll be playing more because I have to. There's too many unanswered questions and this game is just so freaking weird. I love it. I love it. Um, if you want to see more of this game, do let me know. If not, perfectly fine. We'll play something else next week. Goodbye to anyone who is watching and isn't in the chat because I really appreciate you being here as well. I'll see you next week. Have a lovely day or evening and bye.
Do my lips take you back to June? Do my lips make you miss me too? Tell me if the years are all gone. Is the moon still in love with the sun? Do you still keep counting my sins? Will your heart? Are you gonna watch me pick up the pieces? I know you miss the firm boy And I could be in your arms now Tell me Tell me if the years are all gone Is the moon still in love with the sun? Do you still keep counting my sins? To the first boy who lit me off Does your heart still